Hello and welcome to another Gomer Play series. As you can see, we're doing the Stanley Parable. Um, this is going to be blind, um, because I have no idea what the fuck to expect, um, other than possible trigger warnings, uh, you know, forewarned to me by my best friend who recommended this game. Um, you know, she, she mentioned some kind of suicide trigger warning at some point in the game. I will try and remember to do it if I get to a video like that. I, I, but, but right here at the beginning, just know that, yeah, so, so, if, but I'll, I'll try and remember to put in trigger warnings whenever I can. Um, so, yeah, apparently there is a preemptive one that I don't know about, but, hey, you know, <laughs> you guys, you guys might know about it and, and all of that good stuff. Um, anyway, these videos are going to run roughly about 30 to 45 minutes each. Uh, depending on what happens in the game and what all goes on. Uh. Again, this is blind. I have no idea what to expect. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this game going. <laughs> let's let's do this. The end is never. Oh, that's not ominous at all. That's not ominous at all. John Tron, I am not. So it loads, it loads. Loading, loading. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Hi, Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Oh, wow. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk. Yeah, he's pushing buttons like an amateur. How long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. Wow. And although others might have considered it soul living, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Wow. Stanley is a bit of a bore. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Oh dear. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Hmm. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Oh no! No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Stepped out of his office, huh? Alright, so how do we control this thing? Okay, we have the, 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 the normal things there. Does he use things? It looks like it. Maybe. Ah, there we go. Alright. Hmm. Stepped out of his office. No. Oh, hey. Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No! This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing, Nothing will hurt me at all. Me. Nothing. In here, I can be happy <laughs> I will be happy. Yay, happy, happy, waited. happy, happy. Hours passed. Then Hours. Days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the I, one I have thing he knew for sure, here. beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Okay, I want to go out. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. What the fuck? Okay. That was weird. Okay. Um let's let's go on. Yeah, I kind of want to <gasps> Out of the office. I'm out. Holy shit. What do I do? What do I do? Hey. Hey. Can I get in there? No. Uh, what about you, 49? I can 
crouch. That's good. Is All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Maybe. No matter how hard Stanley looked, so he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, so where's this conference room? In here, right? Nope, through here. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh my god, the Christians were right! The rapture has occurred and I'm the only one left! Ah! Wait, if I'm the only one left on the planet and the rapture occurs, does that automatically make me the Antichrist? So, let's see. 416. What's in you? Absolutely nothing. Apparently, E and the and the uh, left button seem to be double as use buttons. As far as I'm aware. Can't move that. When Hi. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Really? The door on his left? What if I want to go to the right? I'll go to the right. I'm going to go to the right. Fuck you. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. No, I'm looking around, and I'm not going to follow your fucking instructions the entire goddamn game. Eh, doors. Open. One needs to open. Come on. You can open. Come on. Something can open. Nothing. Okay. Ooh, <sighs> this is a nice yes, lounge. Truly a room worth admiring. It had yeah. been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. <laughs> Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I'm not standing around. Fuck you. I'm moving. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. What if I want to go straight? What's in there? Um, you know what? I'll actually follow you this time. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Nope, I'm going down the elevator. Fuck you. <laughs> I have no idea what's going to happen. None. I have no idea what the hell is going to be down here. Um, but preemptively make sure that your speakers are not up too loud. I have no idea if anything is going to happen. I honestly don't. He didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh... <laughs> Confused, aren't you? From here, it's, um... I could, just, I could just go back the way I came. Why can't I open a door? Why don't you let me open a door? Even one of these rolling doors, come on. Oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. Oh, you motherfucker. No, 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 not you the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Oh, you motherfucker. This is why I need to be able to open a door on my own. See, we went down right, left, down, left, right. Yeah, yeah. I could okay, just go back okay, the way yes. I came. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely, this way. Oh, really? Okay, that's not ominous. Yep, uh-huh. Not ominous at all. Yeah, I'm going this way. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. This isn't rise at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Sam, spoiler. close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just Spoiler. Get back to um. <laughs> who am I kidding? Uh, it's all rubbish now. Employee oh, fired. Completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. What if I don't want time, to? Suppose we don't wander so far off track. Hmm? Okay. What if I don't want to? From the top. No. Hey, you bastard. What if I wanted to? Yeah, uh, motherfucker. So apparently. I have to mostly be guided by by this authory presence. Ah, uh, yeah. I feel like a character from Bob and George. Okay, yeah. Door. Mm. Fuck you. You're gonna wait for me to finish my drink. That's what I'm gonna say, computer. I'm gonna say, fucking narrator. Yeah. All of his co-workers were gone. Yes, I know. Shut mean. up. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, Mr. Mumble, you know what? I'll actually take the left this time. Because I am curious. When Stanley... Wait. 
Wait, what? What the fuck? No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over completely. You can't even restart properly! Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh, hold on. I couldn't have done Stanley, jack shit. You. I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here <sighs> somewhere. I'm gonna blind myself. Ah! It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Let's find the story. We have missed the story, apparently. We have somehow lost the whole entire story. How do you lose an entire story, Mr. Narrator? How do you do that? Holy shit. So we have this. Okay. Wait. Wasn't I just back in here? I think I was. Okay, let's go this way. And this way. And... Oh. There's the room. Okay. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely no. that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be yeah, better straight. than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's Why see. not? Oh, no, no. Hey, you motherfucker! I might have been getting somewhere. Really? Come on. Okay. Let's go out again. All, all right. his co-workers were gone. Yes, all of his co-workers were gone, yeah. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. The Perhaps meeting room. He had simply missed a memo. Yeah, well, you won't let me open doors. Bastard. Okay. So, we're gonna try the meeting room again. It's not in here. Okay, yep, it's worse. What the fuck?! This wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Are you serious?! Back the other direction and see if we missed anything. You better just let me open the door. Thank you. Okay. So we now have to find the story. What the fuck? Okay. Computers. Phones. Pencil sharpener. Um, filing cabinets. More DD. More DD stuff. I don't know what I just did. I don't know what anybody did. Um, okay. Oh. Nothing? Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh. I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Oh, really? No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. <laughs> are you... Are you fucking bonkers? Okay. What the hell are you doing? What the hell? Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Looks Is like something out of a slasher fic. I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Am I going to be... Do you remember, Stanley? Am I going to be attacked okay. by Leatherface? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! No, that was too easy! There's more game than this! And it really paid off, so good job. No! Oh, no. I don't feel right about this at all. Neither do I. That was too easy. Put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Oh, well, fine. Restart, you motherfucker. Ah, restart the game. How many times am I going to restart? Was this all just because I took the right door instead of the left door? Seriously? I mean, just... God damn. Narrator gets his revenge, apparently. All right. I've got a... I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. The Stanley Parable <laughs> Adventure Line. <laughs> okay. Adventure Line, okay. We go around and we loop and... We wouldn't go in this door before. Or this one. Or these, maybe. But okay. I'll humor you and follow the line. The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Is it now? Stanley, to destiny. To Look, destiny. Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story the fuck? Of destination still a story? Oh, okay. Simply by the act of moving forward, 
Are we implying a journey? What the fuck? The destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature Yo, of life what? itself. Whoa, 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 whoa. The motherfuck. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Uh. I don't know where I was going with all that. You know what? I'm just you know skipping what? ahead through. I think Boom. what we need right now. What the fuck? Is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Oh, music. Okay. Yeah, you know what? The, the, the thing goes this way. Okay, here we go. In here and through the red light district again. And what the hell? Corporate imbalances. Monthly ledgers. Monthly ledgers. Oh well, yeah, that makes sense. Financial records, consolidation reports, department of accounts, annual reviews. That sounds a little. Employee 432 peer. How many peer reviews do I have? Holy mother of. Uh, more financial records. Wow. Wait, wasn't I just in here? Oh, let's look. Uh, okay, through here. Alright. Wait. Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. That fern? That one? Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. Okay. You won't want to miss anything. S okay, if you say so. Um, fern. Yay. Yeah. Um, sure. Uh huh, okay. Yeah. That was weird. Wait, we're, we're back at the office? Okay. Hey, You're trolling hey. me. You are hey, trolling me. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The yes. Story? I'm Is following the line. Bell? I'm following the line, you asshole. How the f Oh, no, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore, to hell with it. Restart. Ah, uh, ye. Never trust a yellow line, ladies and gentlemen. I don't care if it looks all friendly and, and cuddly like a bumblebee. Again? Uh, and again with the line. Okay, you know what? You know what, Stanley? Psh, I say hey. forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? Four two seven intelligent is people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in well, I don't know. How about this direction? How about you let me open a damn door? How about that? Aye. Now yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path. A new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever mm. it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Sure you are. Okay. Yeah. Right. And where am I supposed to... Oh, Whoa. No, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto yeah. the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Really? Really? <sighs> On the line again. Okay, yep. Yeah. You seem to be going the same direction I am, Mr. Line. And you just go up into the ceiling. Okay, that's fine. That's great. Um, I'm in here. Hi. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. Yay. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. Our in control? Fact, Don't you mean yours? I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know um, that each sure. door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere the <laughs> place <laughs> where <laughs> we're <laughs> trying <laughs> to go I'm gonna get must to be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting what? from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? 
And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Okay, then. Hi. The confusion oh, ending. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. Huh? The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? What? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? Seriously? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank <sighs> simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... Um. No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be minutes, trapped apparently. like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Okay, fine. Then... And the timer stopped. Does that mean... Um. Did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, um whatever did you? it is that made this schedule... How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? Hmm. So, Dip -dip -dip. okay. Okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, oh, we I wait. suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So, so what else is there? that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Mm. Well, in the meantime... The fuck was that? Okay. I apologize for my most recent silence. I'm just kind of still like, what the fuck? All right, let's go. Out into the road. His co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Hmm. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, let's go to the meeting room. We have remembered that fern, right? Okay, here we go. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Fine, I'll take the left door. Um, okay. So now what? Okay, we're in here now. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, <sighs> Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Yeah. Wait, which? Which way? This way? Sorry, I was paying attention to how not to get fired. Okay, hi. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Upstairs, huh? Okay. Whoa! This is pretty swanky. Guess the office is in here. Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley mm -hmm. wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind choo, choo. the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly get incredibly by simply pushing random buttons. Yeah, because you keypad, told me. Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh, okay, here we go. Hi. Stage lights, cool. Alright. Uh Oh, we have a but I can do things. Holy shit. Maybe it does pay to follow the story. 
Okay, now we load again. Hmm. So, I got the confusion ending, and it was just the full restart. So this is a game number two, basically. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. Ah. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It yeah. was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Oh my god, what have I been doing all these years? When for years, it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh, this looks ominous. This looks very, very ominous. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Mind Control Facility. Wait. Uh, ah, fuck that. I'm getting out of here. I don't Although want my mind to be controlled. this passageway had the word Escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Okay. Right. Sure. Better than being mind controlled, I suppose. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. No, go away. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Okay, sure. What's my death? I want to see this. Seriously? This is it? Really? Okay. Whee! Okay, then. <laughs> well, then. I, I guess if you escape, you have to uh, commit suicide. Okay then. Um, sure. Why not? Sure. Um, I, I, I'll, I'll buy that for a dollar. Actually, I bought it for six. <laughs> um, okay. Oh. Ow. How the hell did I survive that? Uh oh. As the machine whirred into motion. Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. He reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Wait, seriously? Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no Oh, cause, wait. Like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted Let's this see. violent end to his brief and shallow life. There was um... Let's see. If I duck, maybe. Hold on. Will it, will it work? Mm. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing um, him instantly. Really? Ah! Uh-huh. Sure it was. Uh huh. The Stanley Parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office. As alive as ever. Really? What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Really? Wait, credits? Here? Okay. Okay. This is weird. So, we, we got, I guess, this kind of weird ending, I guess. Freedom ending. Wait, the freedom ending. Uh, monitor room elevator. Oh, okay. Um, I'm still kind of curious about what that monitor room is about, though. Uh, game design mock-up. Okay. This looks kind of neat. Um, yeah. Stanley's office. Okay, cool. Um, what's down here? Yeah, no, more endings, fewer endings. Oh, wow. I guess just to kind of tease you. A war zone. Oh, dear. Yeah, this... Okay. 
Um, yeah, so this happened. This will probably keep happening. Yeah. So is there, like, anything else to do? I mean, I've got this. I mean, oh. Can't go that way. So am I in, 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 in purgatory? I'm in... Am I in heaven? Am I in hell? Um... Did I get raptured with everybody else? I have no idea. I didn't check this way. Ooh. Hey, is this the way to get out? Oh, hey, here we go. What's this? Narration outtakes? What? Okay. Stanley stood on the roof. Oh, dear. I am nowhere near the roof. So, and the roof is probably on fire. Don't get the water. So, yeah. Um. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh. I don't think I checked this way. So, what's this? A Zending model. Zending went through many iterations. Game is now paused. Oh, that's the escape menu. Okay. Um, what's this? I'd like to get out now. Apartment timer. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. What happens? Oh, psh. God damn it. I thought something significant was going to happen. I guess not. Um, <laughs> is this it? Is there any way to, like, restart it without having to go into the escape menu? Is this it? What is this? Freedom ending. I think I've seen something like that. Uh, whoa, whoa. Countdown desk. Okay, so it's basically a museum of pretty much everything. Oh, here we are. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they do? wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Yep, there we go. Can you see? Can no. you see how much they need one another? No. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Alrighty then. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now. It'll be your only true choice. No, uh, I'm gonna keep going. I think I can. Time choose for you. Don't let time. Eh. Well then, that was squicky. You know, I figured I would have been safe by just crouching in there, but no. No, there wasn't. Is that... That... Up, up, up. Hello? Do I, do I have to? I, I guess I do have to. Okay. Um... Begin the game again. Okay. Uh, we'll go through one more bit. That was... Weird. Um, yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> that, 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 that happened. That, that surely happened. So, here we go again. All of his co-workers, were All of his co-workers blah, blah, blah. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Go to the meeting Perhaps room, blah, 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 blah. Missed memo. Yeah, I know. How many endings are there in this game? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, I went he to the door. the door on his left. Went to the left, yeah. Okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. No Seeing person here. Disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to you know his what? boss's office. I'm gonna go down. What's gonna happen if I go down? Oh, ominous red light. Ooh. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, what's in here? Ah, <laughs> more ominous red light. But Stanley a car. couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. Oh and my. in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. An exit? 
And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Wait. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no Wait a minute. reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as okay. Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, like the fact why that couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Um, and for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. What yeah, you're sending eating? me... No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at but last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! He yelled. <laughs> this is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found dreaming. an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then oh. he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. Oh, wow. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? Uh -huh. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Am I dead? Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming what the about fuck? a voice describing me. My mind is being fucked. In my thoughts. Uh? And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. What? what could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing I've been going around this way too much. Okay. Doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. Okay. You know what? Stanley no. Until you do something, I'm going to squat right here. As he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. Yeah. After I'll all, give you a shock. He knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How <laughs> else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just. Um. He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. Oh, that no. this was a dream. What are we going to so do? He closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Blanket. The press of the mattress on his back. Um, the kay. fresh air of a world outside this one. All right. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. Let me wake I'm up. through with this dream. I wish it Give me an alarm over. clock. Let me go back to my job. You're the Let worst in You're the worst the alarm buttons. clock ever. Please. It's all I want. I yeah, want well. my apartment and my wife and my job. Wait, all Stanley's married? My life I didn't know this. Exactly the way it's always been. Huh. My life is normal. I am normal. No, you're not. Everything will be fine. No, it won't. I am okay. No, you're not. Something's gonna happen. Something is going to happen. There we go. See? And we walk Stanley through the door. Screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. Yep, I have a boss. told you. I have an office. I am real. Please, just uh, tell me I am real. I must it's getting be really red in here. Be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? Ah! Everything went black. But, well then. That was blunt. Everything went black. Okay. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Well then! Although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself like how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. 
Yeah, well, it's because of you, you asshole. And what isn't? And me. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But wow. Then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the. It's been a long moment. And then she turned and ran. Does she? Okay then, that happened. Was was that it? Oh. Okay then. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, how many endings has that been? What, what? This is what ending number three. And what? All because I went the downstairs instead of upstairs. Okay. Um, I think I can give myself one more time. All of his coworkers. All of his coworkers. Well, yada yada yada. Stanley decided to go to go the to, meeting room. Go to the meeting room. Blah 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 blah. Uh, Mr. Memo. Yada yada yada. Left door. When sure. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Ah. Uh, so yeah. Okay. In the meeting room. Yes. 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 I haven't. I actually have not looked around here. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Stanley decided to go up to his uh, office. Standardized. An there. What? Okay, not efficient. Who moved my desk? Please keep the targets on the topic of blankety blank. Okay. Wait, what's this? Synergize core value expenditures. Shift marble. Monetize free to play. Monetize free to play. Monetize free to play. Wait, somebody was in the broom closet, weren't they? Oh. Somebody was in here. A door I can actually open. Holy shit. Okay. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Yeah, well. I said somebody was in the broom closet. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. The actual only door I could open. Holy shit. So this is this is pretty swanky. Executive washroom. Executive washroom. Do do, 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 do. What? Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Okay. Yeah, so what's here? I can actually open doors. Holy shit. That's awesome. So what is it? What the fuck? A, a, a panda with a... What? Okay. Random. And... Stepping into his manager's office... Stanley was once oh, again books. stunned to discover not an indication piano. of any human life. What Can I play the piano? Mean? Can I play the piano? Stanley nope. wondered aloud to nobody. He yeah. began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings. Ah! To his situation. Except I can't but his actually. Attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. Ooh, keypad. Could it keypad, keypad. What is it? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the Ooh. boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stan yet incredibly by simply pushing random uh -huh. buttons on the keypad. Yeah. Stanley happened to input the correct code. Because you told me. Luck. Amazing. He stepped into Ooh. the newly opened passageway. Ooh, ominous. Okay. So instead of escaping, I guess I'll 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 take the mind control stuff. Maybe. We'll see what happens there. Apparently there's a conspiracy going on. Hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh dear. This is This is one hell of a game. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Okay. Ah. All right. So we go through here. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay, sure. Why not? And this is ominous. So what is this? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Oh. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yes, I do. I'm going to find out. So wait, this is the spoiler room from earlier? Is it really? I mean... 
So what's this? Hey, a camera. Now the monitors jump to life. Oh. Their true nature revealed. Each hey, the I was up there. An employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. Lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Except they're not there. Freedom, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Of course freedom means nothing. We work for a corporation, and corporations... Well, they're, they're just... Hmm? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Yes, was it's called the player the character. He was happy with his boring job. Oh, there it goes. His emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly. Yes, because I'm controlling him. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His no. own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, mm. wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Mm, possibly. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Actual status or sad, offline. Or content. Walking, huh. eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Oh, but and as the cold reality of his past big red began button has got me all over it. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human so life. So let's see, what do these for buttons do? would dismantle the controls once oh, and this one. for all. What does that one do? Nothing? What does this one do? Nothing? Okay. I'm, I'm going to play around with buttons. Fuck you. I want to see these buttons work. What does this one do? Oh, it's all offline, anyway. Wait, my control status is offline. If I press that button, that's that means that this stuff is going to start back up, right? Uh-huh. Let's see. What does this 5 do? Nothing. Mind controls idle awaiting input. These are offline. And there's nothing seems to be down there. Big red button has got me written all over it. Hmm. All these buttons should have me written all over it, but you know, I don't have a crayon. You know what? Um, let's press it. Nope. Can't do it. <laughs> I can press all the buttons but the big red button. Okay, let's go in here. Better stay open. If I, if I need to get out of here, I need to get out of here. Okay. System power. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew oh. it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place My and to everything it stood for. System power. Uh, let's turn it off. Well then. Good job. You turned off the game, asshole. That, that's... Congratulations. You turned off the damn game. Because that happens. Wait. Um, I cannot see. Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Oh dear. Was it over? Is it? Maybe. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Oh. Freedom was mere moments away. Freedom! Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co workers gone? How oh, maybe they're all outside. Feed from the machine's grass? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps right. his goal had not Wait. been to understand, but to let go. You know, it's got, it, you know, no would it would be one hell of a thing if this turned out to be like a, a massive 3D painting, and I just walked into this and it was a wall. It will be. That, that, that would, that would. All he needed to know. Okay. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Okay, Stanley where is this? through the open door. You sure this is a door? Are you sure this is a door? 
Stanley felt the cool breeze upon oh. his skin. So it wasn't a wall. A okay. Of liberation. By the way, this is not me moving. Of the new path before him. Hmm. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. But and where is this? Was happy. Okay. Um, he's happy. Okay. Um. <laughs> I. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Beat the game. Really? Really? Is that fucking simple? Really? Okay. But okay, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here. <laughs> uh, it's probably over time that that I needed to do the thing anyway. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, this was definitely interesting. I'll play this a little bit more on my own. Um, there's some interesting things I come across. I might do a second follow-up video for this. But, uh, but yeah, this was definitely, definitely a game. Um, I apologize for, for my silence and any kind of background noise that may have gotten into this. Uh, I do my best, but can't always get everything that I need. Um, but I hope, I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, so yeah. Um, uh, yeah, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, uh, signing off. Oh boy.